let's start with your basketball career at the beginning. So, how did you start playing basketball? And do you remember your first steps? Huh. Well, uh, how I actually got into basketball, you know, I used to watch the older guys, you know, play basketball at the park, you know, just walk over at the park. And I became interested in playing basketball. So, uh, I think I want to say like around fifth or sixth grade, I started playing basketball for middle school. Uh, you know, just kept playing and getting better. I had a gym teacher that, you know, he seen that I can play, had some potential, so he stayed with me and made sure I worked on my skills and everything to get better. And, uh, you know, I played pretty well in, in, in middle school, and I ended up going to uh, high school, the same high school uh, Derrick Rose went to, Simeon High School. I played there for uh, maybe two years, and I ended up transferring to another high school. Uh, I didn't really play that much because I transferred into the school and they already had the guys you know, that they wanted to play. So uh, I played there and then you know, since I didn't play that much, I didn't have statistics as much you know, to go to a university. So I ended up going to a, a junior college in Chicago, Kenny King College, and I was successful there uh, two years there. And uh, you know, traveled the country, and I mean the world in different states, and played uh, tournaments and I was seen by a scout for the University of Maryland, and you know, I went and visited the University of Maryland, and they decided that you know they wanted me to come there and play at Maryland. So I went and played at Maryland for two years. Had a pretty good career. I got my degree in sociology, and uh, you know once I left Maryland, I tried out for the D League, the NBA Developmental League. Uh, did, didn't get drafted, but I got a contract to play in the, the Developmental League. So I ended up going to Germany my first year out of uh, college. And I had a successful year in Germany. I think it was uh, maybe third division Germany. I averaged maybe like 25 points, uh, four assists, four rebounds, something like that. And uh, that was my first stint in Europe. You know, uh, the game was pretty different for me. You know, I didn't know the rules as much. But as time came on, I learned the rules and I played pretty well. And uh, you mentioned me before in our previous conversations that you played in Mexico after you left Germany, yeah? Yeah. And can you tell us a bit your experience abroad Europe? Okay, uh, well yeah, after I left Germany my first year, I uh, decided to give the D-League a try again. You know, I wound up trying again, I got the contract, and I did get drafted again, so I had a guy, a coach actually from the States that was coaching in Mexico, and he, uh, you know, seen a couple films on me and things like that, and decided that he wanted me to come play for his team in Mexico. And Mexico was actually great, you know, the weather the weather is good all the time. And uh the league the league is it's okay. Like the Americans, the American if you have a good Americans then the team is pretty much good. But uh as far as playing in Europe and playing in Mexico, the rules are similar in Mexico as they are in the States, you know. So I didn't have to worry about getting adjusted to the traveling calls and the other different rules that they had. Uh the coaching styles were pretty much different. Like they, they mainly want you to score points. They're not too tactical about things. If you're scoring points, then you know management and everything are okay with you know how you're playing. Whereas in, in uh, Europe, you know you, you have to be tactical. You have to win games whether you have five points or you have 25 points as long as you win the game. You know. So, but uh, Mexico was a pretty good experience. You know, I played there two years. Uh, it was a good experience. You know. Great fan base. Uh, they like basketball like any other country. They like they love the basketball, so it's pretty good. After Mexico, uh, you came back to Europe, yeah. And uh, why did you choose Europe again? Uh, I kind of chose Europe again because uh, I like how European the European basketball style. Whereas in Mexico or pretty much in anywhere in South America, you play a lot of basketball games. I know uh, uh, other players are think like, man, that's that's crazy, you know. I want to play games, but you know the, the games like some countries, in South America, you play like four games a week or three games a week. You know, it's like kind of wear and tear on your body. Whereas some games in Europe, you know, you may have one game a week, or you may have two games a week. It's not so much, you know, games and you know traveling and things like that. So I chose Europe because actually because I like the way the style and the way they think about basketball. You know, I didn't pretty much like the way the style of. South America, just play run and gun, you know, no statistical, uh, tactical you know, operations. And tell us about your first encounter with Lithuania. How did you uh, contact this country? What was like the first impression? And uh, well, 
know, I was looking to get back in Europe. And I was trying a lot of different ways, and like it seemed like every every different way that I tried wasn't working. So uh, a friend of mine said that uh, it was a Lithuanian community in in Chicago, and I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about it, you know. So he said he was having a workout or something. So I decided to go. You know, why not give it a try? And I went and tried, and it was a Lithuanian agent, and he uh, you know said that he liked my game. You know, like how I played. And I actually was playing in some summer league in Chicago, and he said, "Man, I'm gonna come. I want to see you play again." So he came to the summer league, and I played pretty well. And he said, uh, "Just give me a couple, a couple uh, weeks or whatever. I'm gonna find a job for you in, in Lithuania, or whatever." So you know, a couple weeks went past. I sent him my passport information and signed a contract and everything with the agent. And a couple weeks rolled past, and he had a job for me in second division Lithuania. Majeki team, yeah. Majeki, I played for Majeki my first year, and uh, actually it was it was a pretty good year. You know, my first year back in Europe, I uh, had pretty good stats for that year. It was pretty good. And like when comparing, uh, you first came to Europe playing in Germany, and then you chose Lithuania. And like, what was the first impression playing in like post-Soviet country? You know. Well, uh, it was kind of different. You know, me coming back to Europe, I was expecting it to be. You know, similar to Germany, but it was not similar to Germany. Uh, you know, I was kind of excited because I didn't know what to expect, you know, going into a different situation. But uh, when I came, I, I seen where it was, you know, the style of play is pretty different. I think it's more physical here in Lithuania than it is in Germany. Uh, you know, it was, it, was all, it was all different and all new to me. And then I think uh, after the first year in Lithuania, I played second year, my second year, actually being here three years, this is my third season, second year I played in Palanga, and I kind of felt good going into that season because I had a year of playing in Lithuania in my belt, so I kind of figured like, okay, I can understand, you know, what to expect, you know, it's going to be physical, so I knew what to work, work, uh, work with over the summer, you know, to get my body ready, to get uh, just my physical conditioning ready for Lithuania. Talking about your first year in Majeki, uh, you you were living in a small town in Lithuania, and did you get a lot of attention from the fans, from the people in the city? Uh, yeah, actually, this is pretty much crazy because you know, walk around the city, you go to the stores, and you know, everybody just looking like, oh, what is this guy doing here? But you know, after a while, when I first got there, it was kind of weird. You know, I was like, oh, why are the people staring at me? But this time rolled on, I was like, I mean, I kind of feel the same, or I feel, you know, how they feel like. It's a new guy in my country, you know, I never seen before. So after a while, it didn't bother me. You know, it was just regular to me. So, but you still were like a superstar in Majeki. <laughs> I, I, mean, I can't mean, imagine. Everywhere, everywhere I went, you know, they knew who I was. You know, as the games rolled on and I kept playing, they, they knew who I was. All right. So we talked about Palanga, and now you ended up in Panevėžys. And what can you say about this team that you're playing, that Kabilis? Well, uh, uh, comparing. The capitalist to Palanga is, is you know, is, is very different. The uh, organization is, is you know, they organize, make sure everything is good. If you have any problems or if you uh, need anything, the arena is, is more big and spacious. You know, good training staff, good coaching staff. It's, it's way different from you know Palanga. Palanga is real small, real small like a uh, resort town. You know, that, that's that's what they say. Uh, and I kind of I like the Cavaliers. I haven't really got a chance to you know go out and see the city or the town or whatever. But you know because I've been working so hard in the gym. But other than that, I like it so far. And you got injured injured just before the season start. And how do you feel when you see your guys, your teammates playing on the court? You have this crazy feeling to step on the court and tell them. Well, yeah, uh, it's kind of hard, you know, to you know watch the guys that you work work hard with, you know, in preseason play friendly games with and you know practice hard with fight beat up with all preseason and then they go out to practice and everything and you can't go out and fight with them you know struggling in games and situations like that it's real tough you know like a couple games they travel to Latvia uh, uh, and play the games and I watch the game it's kind of hard for me to watch the game because I see a lot of different areas where I can help the team and you know just motivate the team you know to play better you're playing third year in Lithuania, and did you catch any Lithuanian wars? Do you know some? 
uh, I wouldn't call them Lithuanian words, but you know, the guys kind of, every year, guys try to teach me different bad words in Lithuanian. Bad words, really, they know some good words then? Not really Lithuanian, but Russian, but I know like, uh, actually Lithuanian, I can pretty much understand it better than I can speak it. Like, yeah. if someone is having a conversation, I can sit there, okay, I understand, but like if they ask me to say something back to what they said, I can't really, I can't really say. So what words do you know? Can you can you speak it out? Uh, I know like the basic words, labas. Uh, I know okay, get a. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a lot of different words I know. All right. So now let's talk about your future. Uh, are you thinking about playing in Lithuania for uh, like a fourth year or fifth year? Well, actually, I'm right now. I'm just focused on you know working hard, you know, rehab getting back so I can finish this season first. You know, uh, once I finish this season, then it will determine my future and where I will play in the future. Yeah, and like the players that come to Lithuania, they have always been asked one question. Have you ever dreamed about playing in NBA? And you grew up in Chicago where the Bulls come from. So what about you, your personal expectations? Well, yeah, uh, I think any, any American that's playing in Europe or any uh, foreign country, their, their dream is to play in the NBA, but unfortunately, circumstances, you know, they couldn't play in the NBA. Because, you know, most most Americans, you know, they want to be close to their home for their family and friends to see them play. Uh, you know, most kids grow up watching, like you said, Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson or any other great NBA player. So, yeah. Okay, so thank you, Parrish. Thank you.